Hassan Ali collects plastic bottles from this pile of garbage in Sana'a. He has a lot to choose from because a shortage of fuel means the city's garbage is not being moved out to landfills. This has become the only way for Hassan and others to survive. We are happy that this place has become the main garbage collection center. We sell plastics for three US dollars, but it hardly covers the needs of our family. Many of the city's garbage trucks are parked at this depot in the capital. The man in charge of operations here says at least two tons of garbage are piling up every day. He's appealing to the international community for help. We consume nearly 300,000 litres of diesel a month, even in the current crisis. We won't be able to deliver our services to the community if the crisis persists. Trucks unload the garbage here at this makeshift collection centre. This is our first initiative to cut down consumption of fuel. Health experts are warning of an unprecedented environmental crisis that could trigger another cholera outbreak. The recent one killed at least 3,000 people. Local and international health officials warn this fuel and garbage crisis could hamper their efforts to eradicate cholera. So far, at least 900 Yemenis have died from the waterborne disease this year. The current fuel crisis is likely to undermine our efforts to lower the case of cholera and other epidemics. The spread of garbage and sewage water are the main reasons behind the spread of such diseases. The crisis has not only affected garbage collection, it's also making it difficult for people to move around the city. Public transport is difficult to find. Mohammed Nasser used to work as a driver for a private company. I've lost my job because the company owner couldn't allocate diesel due to the severe shortage of it. Now I cannot even afford to refill my gas cylinder as gas prices are high as well. Life has become very difficult in our country. The Houthis say despite giving up control of ports including Hudida in the south, under last year's Sweden agreement, shipments of fuel and other goods are not coming through. In accordance with the Sweden agreement, the port of Hadaida has come under the supervision of the UN, especially after the Houthis retreated five kilometers in compliance with the signed agreement. For millions of Yemenis like Hassan Ali and his friends, what was already a difficult life has become even more challenging. Those who were once able to feed themselves are now picking through rubbish in the hopes of earnings and living. محمد العطاب الجزيرة صنعها